hello everyone in this video we are going to talk about the continuing series of diabetes mellitus or gdm in pregnancy so here is the management of dm or gdm in the pregnancy when we talk about management in dm what we should exactly mean we mean strict glucose control so that minimum problem can be caused toward the fetus and the mother so strict glucose control and how we achieve that we achieve that why the first diet and exercise and then the medications and which medication preferably insulin then we also talk about fetal monitoring that means that the fetus it has high risk of intrauterine death or malformation or any obstetric complication in case of GDM so we should also monitor that thing also so first of all <clears throat> we see about diet control and exercise when we say diet control we just restrict some calories <clears throat> in the uh, patients according to their BMI for example if the BMI is less than 25 then we have a, a, a gen average kil calorie intake per day is 3000 kilocalorie per day in overweight patient that have 25 to 30 BMI we uh, provide 2500 kilocalorie per day of uh, energy to the patient per day in morbidly obese patient we decrease our calorie intake like <coughs> 1500 to 1750 uh, kilocalorie per day so this is the diet restriction second thing is what should be included in the diet that 40 percent should be carbohydrate 20 percent should be proteins and at least 20 percent of fat that is unsaturated fat so this is what the uh, built of diet moderate exercise of 30 minutes minimum we provide to the patients <clears throat> now the very important aspect of managing the dm or GDM during pregnancy is glucose monitoring and that is strict glucose monitoring how we do we do by first of all uh, measuring the glucose levels multiple times at least four times first is a fasting two hour after dinner two hour after uh, lunch and at bedtime so this are the minimum criteria of measuring the glucose now what are our goals for glucose levels fasting should be less than 95 postpandrial one hour either uh, after dinner or lunch should be less than 140 after two hour it should be less than 120 and the hba1c level should be less than six percent all the time <clears throat> now how we how we uh, maintain that glucose level we use insulin insulin is a drug of choice for that what is the drug uh, dose 0.7 to 1 international unit per kg per day in divided doses we start with this dose and then we measure the glucose and then we titrate our insulin dose regarding the uh, according to the glucose levels we use generally two types of insulin first is short acting and second is intermediate acting do we use oral hypoglycemic in uh, the management yes we use metformin and glubaride metformin is used more no other uh, oral hypoglycemic should be used <clears throat> now the again very important part of management is fetal surveillance how we do that we in general ANC visits we do maximum amount of ultrasounds so that we can have a congenital anomaly uh, detected early we have already have a video regarding the congenital anomaly and how we deal with that what we do as the management obstetric management of GDM is we advise them the early admission at around 32 to 34 weeks 
because this this period from 32 weeks to up to term this is the very high risk period for diabetes mellitus because the risk of intrauterine death and other complications is very higher in this period so we advise them the admission with the admission we can actually carefully monitor and uh, and act regarding the, um, uh, the the treatment for example if we have an early admission then we can at least do four time glucose level by ourselves and with time the patient compliance is actually very high during admission strict glycemic control we also provide them the chart diet chart we have a consultation with the dietitian how he uh, and the, with the dietitian consultation we formulate the chart according to the diet of the patient the acceptable to the patient now for fetal monitoring we do NST that is non stress test by CTG machine two times a day at least two times a day the female is also advised to maintain the kick count daily biophysical profile that is ultrasound weekly should be done we uh, actually in DM we don't prolong the pregnancy it is not advisable to prolong the pregnancy because with the prolongation of the pregnancy the risk of fetal demise is becoming high and high so if the diabetes is mild for example it is only controlled with the exercise and diet then at 40 weeks we should terminate the pregnancy with the help of induction of labor according to the pelvis fetus and everything uh, 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 already diagnosed we do induction as at 40 weeks if the if the diabetes is controlled on the pharmacology like insulin we induce the patient at 38 weeks only so we should terminate the pregnancy at 38 weeks if if the glucose level are not well controlled with the diet then we should uh, see further at 37 weeks we should terminate the pregnancy after delivery we should do a GTT glucose tolerance test after six weeks because 50 percent of the women who have a GDM can develop diabetes mellitus in actual life so we should also concern about this so these are the main main points of management of diabetes thank you